What a pitiful sight. Where are your precious sworn brothers now? Where are your allies? You understand, surely. Bonds are as useful as they are ephemeral. And yet I still choose to believe in the strength of my brothers. <laughs> Brother! You and Shao! Don't you touch him, you cur! <laughs> you are all bound together in life! And so too you will be in death! <laughs> so either forget about me! Run! <laughs> What's happened to you? My heart was true, yet I lacked the strength to carry out what needed to be done. We who were born apart shall die together. That was my oath to Yunchong and Yida, and so we made our first step out into the world. I have fought hard and lost so very much, nearly even my life. 
But even in my darkest moments of despair, there was one thing I never lost. The belief in my brothers. You showed me my beliefs were not misplaced. And so, with even stronger bonds to support me, I shall continue to strive forward. I know a good spot for it. Sounds good to me, but our battle is far from over. <clears throat> you and Xiao would have all the land fall under the thrall of his demonized army. There was an unearthly sky <clears throat> reaching over Guan Du. Are you saying that's Yuan Xiao's <clears throat> doing? It is only by your hands now that this tyrannical rampage can be halted. <clears throat> We will do what we can here. Return to Minister Xiao. We must do everything in our power to stymie the ambitions of Yuan Xiao. <clears throat> 